Okay, here we are. So, Ram Pam installation. Just got it in the mail today. Uh, it's pretty good instructions. Yeah, we'll see. I've gotten to the point where I'm already stuck, so I'm going to be going on YouTube. Um, hence why I decided that I'll just make this video that might have, there's the templates for drilling, that might have everything in one video, maybe, we'll see. So, this is a Ram Pam installation mount, and here's the brackets, USB, and here's the hardware. Comes from... Expedition Essentials. Actually, looks like it's really a uh, really well-made product, which I'd expect it to be for the money. So when it's all said and done, let me see if I can find a picture of it for you. Well, you can kind of see how it's going to end up looking over top the dash with the USB, and it's got the sides on it like that, and then you can mount an additional thing there. So these sides, I think, were an extra add-on in the price. I wanted it because I wanted it to be able to be able to mount more stuff on it. So, so but now's now's where I'm stuck. I actually kind of expected to see screws underneath of this thing. But I was actually so I thought I was going to find more screws in here to make this easier to come off. So you got to remove this uh, gray part here, I guess. And I think you got to remove this part. See, so these side side brackets are going to go on here. Oh, that's the wrong one. They're going to mount like that. It's like I don't really need to remove this gray part to, in order to do that, but the wires. So we gotta drill that little hole right right there to fish the wire down and around and tie it into, uh, I think they say to tie it into a cigarette lighter, but I don't see why you can't just tie it into this 12 volt USB since I already, already have it. Open. Oh wait, that's the cigarette lighter. That's the USB. So, I'm gonna do some reading. Okay, saying thanks to some super cheesy corny YouTube video with terrible music, you just pry it off gently. And since I don't have a mount, you can see it's, boy. Now, yeah, gently, gently. So that sounded like something broke. That's what it said. Just pry it off gently. But it, see, a white clip fell out too. Whatever that is, it just fell on the ground. So that's that. It looks like we got some cables there connected. And there's that other noise of the thing that I thought broke. That little white clip. Okay. And it looks like those go there. So. Looks like maybe these ones are supposed to have it on there. So that would be four of them. There's four clips there that clip into the radio actually right there. But I only see two little white things. So but that that's that. All these connectors you only go into one spot, so that's pretty easy. Actually, it looks really easy to do uh, modifications to this thing. This is kind of annoying. It's just a great big block, so if you want to add um, switches and stuff there, this whole thing is one big block. So this thing about doing LED light switches there, but I don't think I will now. 
find a new home for him. Like that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get this thing out of the way, so. Okay, we're back. So, I got the dash out of the way. Simple floor connectors. And I've got the template cut out and put on this side. I did cover up that top hole with masking tape, but whatever, I, I can still see it, so. There's three holes to drill. And you can tell that this hole's gonna be annoying with everything here, so. Yeah, and then this is a self-tapper hole. Okay, so as anticipated, the first hole didn't didn't go very well. Once I drilled through it, for one, it moves the paper when you put the drill bullet on it. You know, that's annoying. Then once you drill through it, it just rips the paper off. So, what I'm going to do instead is take this tool. This is just a metal scribe pen, and I'm going to put. Right there, no. Well, this is going to be kind of annoying. You're probably going to fall. I just need two hands for a second. Okay, well, actually, that looks pretty. Ah, see, it just so. It, all right, so I'm just going to stab it with this thing and hope that. Turn it. It moved. That moved quite a bit. Okay, I need two hands for this, but you get the idea. I'm gonna basically hole punch it and uh, then drill the holes without the template on. Oh, there you go. You can see my little indents. One, two. And that's the self tapper indent there. So that's a little bit easier. Just need two hands to do it. So I'll do the other side, get all the holes drilled, and uh, go to the next step. Okay, we got the three holes drilled. Remember the bottom one's a self-tapper. And three holes drilled. So, what I did, yeah, it's gonna be really annoying. And they, so much so, they, they tell you, take your time, be patient, don't lose your nuts. So. Okay, well, the first screw in, the first washer, and the first nut, and I already dropped the washer down somewhere into no man's land oh. all right we're back they're in they're tight uh, they actually feel really good um, I'm I, I hate how it, how long and how difficult it was to get it but I'm happy about it the end result that is you know you know they, they feel really strong so I like they've got some flexibility, so when you mount the tar top piece on and get it tight, you know, it'll kind of bend up a little bit, fill it in, so in theory it'll be a nice tight fit. So I still have to put the self-tappers in. Frankly, I don't even know why they even have that. I would think just cut the thing off right here and be good with those three. I don't, I don't see how that thing's moving. No. Well, it was a nightmare to get them in. Absolute nightmare. And then move to the next step in the directions. Right now we are, where are we at? We're, we're at page, oh shoot, we're not even done with page one. So see, I'm supposed to take this off and then screw the hole and then put this little metal bracket on with the hole in there and then, then blah, 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 blah. I haven't done any of that yet, so I'm going to do do that right now, self-explanatory in the directions. Drill a hole in there and, well, actually, I think I actually need to, I need this in there. Actually, because I need to drill a hole through through this. So, I kind of kind of screwed that up, actually. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to drill that hole. So, I'm going to have to get it reassembled to get this lined up with it, you know. Uh, and then drill the hole through both of those pieces of plastic, then pull it all back apart to move on to step three. Hey, okay, we're back. I got it put back on. Went together really well, actually. Doesn't sound like anything 
is uh, loose and rattling. And I got the hole drilled. The hole that I forgot to get drilled. So now I gotta take it all back apart. Okay, we're back with another step that I missed. And it's back on page one. Um, drill, done. Now, that plate is, where did I just put it? Oh, right there. So what I missed was it says to actually, Oh, you put it under it. So you put it upside down like that. Oops, like that under this. And you take those out. So you're no longer using these factory, these two factory nuts right there. That's got it. So this hole there go, is that hole right there okay well, that's kind of interesting all right well let's try and put this in here and see how how it goes ram needs to put a cup holder on the door yep there you go plates installed Best part is you gotta take the radio back out uh, because you don't read the instructions and follow the instructions step by step. So you end up doing everything twice. So be sure and take the radio back out for the second time to install the plate that you missed the first time. And before you put everything back together, but you know, remember right when you're almost about done and you got it all back together and you're about to put the, the plate back on, remember that you forgot to wire in the USB wire. So undo all the plugs, pull it back off for the third time and then remember to wire it in. So we're gonna do that now. I believe that the instructions are fairly good for this. Of course, as we've proven, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm going to read them anyways. Even if I do read them, I don't understand them. Where is it? There, there's a... There's a... There's a piece in here. There. There. See? See? There. See, I don't think I have any of those little connectors. I can use through the pre-drilled hole in the plastic... Ben dash reference behind so another connector using the supplied posi crimps. Okay, I don't think you supplied them. Yeah, yeah. There is one bag in here somewhere that I haven't really opened yet. I don't know where it is now. Nope, not there. There's there that quick and easy insert hot wire oh all right these are them but they're not uh i don't think they're those posi pins let's take a look at what these are huh one second let me get this thing cut and opened up what are these things yeah they're different okay they're these things so, oops, can you focus? Yeah, and they give you a little, little thing here to follow. Insert hot wire, tighten, strip leads, insert and tighten. I'm confused. Do I have to cut, do I cut this wire completely in half? I've never used these. All right, well, let me uh, figure out how to use them. Okay, I figured it out. So there's that part. You can see my confusion by the picture. It's like, well, so how do you fit the wire through there? 
It's not a hole, it's a slot. So that makes sense. And then there's a little pin there that'll stab into the wire, your existing wire, these, these two wires. And I'll stab into the side of it to get your uh, power off. Now, probably better than those other connectors. At least I, I like the look of them better than the other connectors. So, and then this is kind of just like a uh, old school, uh, the other end's just like a speaker wire, like a banana plug uh, for a speaker wire. So, pretty straightforward. Success. USB works. So, there it is. Black to black and red to blue, as I assumed. And it seems to work. So now with the Ram 1500s, remember uh, this cigarette lighter, uh, it goes dead when the key's off. Yeah, I think that's a lot of newer vehicles do that. I don't know, but I like that feature for when you're running GPS and uh, different stuff out of these things. When you turn that key off, you know it's killing these, these units. And uh, I like that because it means you're not going to kill the battery. On accident because you're not paying attention to stuff like me a lot of the time yeah so we're gonna put a cigarette lighter back in hopefully oops hopefully the right way up I think it's like that yeah yeah pay attention to the camera huh yeah so obviously it's not yeah we're at the stage where we can start reassembling it and uh, start actually assembling the actual mount. Uh, this is kind of the, the mount for the mount and wiring. <laughs> All right. Okay, got it in. So these four, the two on the ends that require the nuts on the back end, I, I didn't use a washer again, because uh, that's just way too difficult. And frankly, the washer is not at all much bigger than the actual nuts uh, it's fine it got super tight it's great so what i found was the easiest way was to put it in my finger like this and keep the screw out of the hole and smash it up underneath of it and get it lined up and then just drop the screw in then thread it so that actually made those really easy and then it made me think well maybe that's a way to do these you know you know what might work is get a little super glue on your finger, super glue the nut onto your finger, and then st stick your finger in there to get it lined up, then stick the screw in and thread it in. That might work. So, this is... Sorry for the reflection. Dang, where's the reflection? It's the Ram Pam. Well, I don't know why, yeah, they call it Ram Pam 2002. 20,002. Right? My eyes wrong. Man, yeah, it's a small font. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Expedi from Expedition Essentials. From Ferndale, Washington. I actually like, I like that it's from, you know, made here. It's a nightmare to install. It is an absolute nightmare to install. But, you know, it's done. I think it looks fantastic. I like the look of it. No. Oh. Yeah. Now, I'll put some stuff up in here and show you that. Uh, I don't have all the stuff I'm going to eventually put in here. I think this will be the last video. Uh, it's done. And I did get the screws in there. These are kind of pointless. They really don't bite all that hard. I Yeah, I don't really get the point of them. But this is what it'll look like all done. And of course, you know, it's simple adjust and move things around and all that however you see fit and just tighten it back down so i only got three of these t-slot t-slot balls i think i want one more so i can come off this one this one yeah there'll be a lot of stuff in here when it's done now we're not there yet it'll probably be a couple months so i slowly afford things so this is the, the thing that goes here. It goes in those two screw holes to give you another mount, another ball to mount off of. So I think I'll probably pick up one more of these. 
Oops, sorry. I think I'll probably pick up one more of these and uh, put them in because it doesn't look like they're going to interfere with anything. You know, when, when they're in, even on this side with this mount is really super low, it will it can still be there and not hurt anybody or anything and still use this uh, cell phone mount fine. So these things are really tight. I like that. I hope they don't wear out, but I do like them. And this one's kind of cool. It can it can articulate. Let's see if we can show it. Kind of hard to so it can go like this, and each one of these spins 360 degrees. So you can really get some get some funky angles going on with this thing. You know, if you wanna. You want to come off at an angle, drop down lower, and then spin this head. Is what you'll notice with this stuff. They got because because of how it clamps on these balls. I can't I can't take this mount any uh, flatter. I can't go any further this way. I have to move the whole thing. So, but if this, but if you have one of those heads that spins, you can rotate this head 360, and then that frees up being able to spin the ball into this area you know I could probably show you, show you on this one so see yeah you can get that ball in that slot and get it really horizontal whereas this way that's that's the biggest angle you can get out of that just because it runs into the, the side of it so it's just the nature of the design no big deal ram mount from expedition essentials is done and I'm happy with it. I hated getting it installed, but I'm glad it's installed. <laughs> right? Take care.